Hey y'all, it's uh, Skyhook or Sam. Um, right now, I am just going to make a little voiceover for the painting that I'm currently doing. So I started off with just a blank canvas. It was pre-gessoed, so I just went right in with paint. This was a commission for some friends and if you know the reference photo to the left it is a fallout boy infinity on high uh, album cover so I just kind of went right in I always kind of start with the darkest parts first not necessarily the greatest tactic but it's how my brain comprehends compositions so I just went for it uh, yeah, so this is me doing a little tap, 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 paint, paint, paint. I've been using golden paints, which are heavy body, and I actually went out and bought some blue ones this week, so I got to use a brand new blue for this painting, and that was really nice. I love new paints. It's always so exciting. Yeah, so here I am, painting real fast. I like to do lots of layers, so I pretty much just jump around and try to get like the basic shape of what I'm painting. Try to just block in the objects that I'm trying to create before I really worry about the, the details of it. So I have been getting a lot better just from years of practice of just being able to go in and, you know, make the sizing and proportions how I want them to but this is not like easy don't don't be fooled by that um this took a lot of years of trial and error to really be able to like paint this confidently so I'm actually still baffled by my own brain being able to do this like it's still very new for me so this painting is really cool to like watch over for myself as well I had a lot of fun painting this. This album was something that I had painted in the past. I painted a smaller version of this, but I wanted to paint a larger one for this commission, and that's what I did. So I had a lot more time and just space to do more details, which is a lot of fun. It's always enjoyable to really get familiar with a reference photo so painting it multiple times is enjoyable which is something that like I didn't find enjoyable when I was younger I hated painting the same thing over and over again but now I find a lot of comfort in it it's my brain my brain enjoys it now just going over the same areas you can kind of tell lots of layering I use a gray piece of palette paper for my acrylic paintings. I like working on gray. It's a lot easier to build up shadows and highlights on it. I feel like I can tell what my highlights look like way better on a gray piece of palette paper than a white one. Although I do try to use like scrap paper, like scrap pieces of paper or like plastic. Uh, I don't always use like the palette paper, but when I know that I'm doing like a full painting, I I try to use it. I want to, I guess, try to find a more sustainable way for acrylic, for me to like mix acrylic paints on, but I haven't really fell in love with anything yet. So if you have any like suggestions, feel free to let me know. I use a gla like a glass piece of palette for oils, but I don't really like the way they feel with acrylic so I'm a little hesitant on doing anything else I've been using this gray palette paper for probably like 10 years now so it's just in my blood to use it now <laughs> all the brushes that I use are fairly cheap brushes from Michaels or AC Moore I don't really take the greatest care of my brushes so I don't spend too much money on them just because I don't want to feel guilty when they're ruined. <clears throat> the only brushes I really spend money on are watercolor brushes, but I feel like those are a little bit more crucial. Acrylics, not so much. So, yeah, I just use all different types of Michaels brand <laughs> brushes. No, no brushes really stolen my heart. 
just yet. So this is me bouncing around, doing more layers. I took a few breaks in here, but of course I edited them out. So this wasn't like in, I didn't paint this all in one sitting. I, I think I took pretty much like hour, like I, I painted for an hour and then I would take a little break. So I let it sit overnight and went back to it the next day with fresh eyes. So I definitely am getting faster, but I'm also not rushing it because I, I like walking away from a painting and coming back and seeing all the things that I want to improve. It's, it's weird. You really need like fresh eyes with a painting and I very much stand by that for myself. So yeah, a lot of layers. I used to really be mad at myself that I did so many layers. Like I would see people just paint things in one go and be confident with it. But I think that's layers are just the way that my brain interprets how to create certain looks, like certain things I just comprehend in layers rather than in one shade. I don't know if that makes any sense. I am so sorry. So yeah, this was a commission. I got permission to post it. I actually hand delivered this to the person it was a gift for. So that was really exciting. I got to see their reaction, which is something I don't always get to see. So that was really, really awesome. I am working on another commission now. I'm also open to commission. So if you want to commission anything, feel free to email me. I am just kind of making random videos for whatever I have available. I don't really have much of a idea for this voiceover. If I'm going to keep making videos, I clearly need to come up with some type of structure on what I'm doing. It'd be cool if you guys would let me know what you wanted to hear from me, whether that's just story times or how I do certain things. I really don't feel like much of a teacher, but if you are really intrigued by something that I do, I am so open to hear what you would like to hear from me. So let me know. I don't have my complete proper setup, so this is very much like makeshift in the meantime. I'm trying not to get discouraged for not having my fancy equipment. So thank you guys for all the love on my past video. That really gave me a lot of motivation to keep it up. I would really like to get better at keeping up with videos and having concepts for them and maybe having more of a structure around them. So I'm hoping with time I can figure that out. If you guys are new here, I used to stream a lot on Twitch. I don't have a proper setup for streaming right now, so the videos are not really what I'm used to doing, but it's a good compromise for the time being. I really enjoy making videos. I used to make them before streaming. I made them for a bit while I streamed, so it would be really awesome if I could simultaneously have that stream and have videos be things that I create. It's just a matter of understanding what I'm making and right now I feel so lost in the world that that's a, that's a big thing for me to figure out. So 2021, we got this, we're working on it. I think it'll be good though. Regardless, I am just trying to go and do what I can and not try to overthink the whole Full out plan of it like I'm just trying to make videos and if something comes of it and I and I figure out a structure that's awesome but I'm trying not to beat myself up in the meantime I went in with a paint marker here as you can see to do a lot of the stars there's there are a lot of stars in the background so I wanted to use like a fine tip paint marker to really get them all in there so that's the only other medium I really used was that one paint marker. And I also used it for some of the details in the sheet. Thank you so much for checking out another video of mine. I will be back with another one soon, hopefully. Don't forget to like and subscribe and even comment. That would be awesome. And check me out on other socials and I will see.